experiment with the truth. A practical guide to discovering the truth within yourself. Experiment with truth is a course which does not concern itself with one particular philosophy or religion, but which embraces all religions and philosophies. Whatever you are doing at this time, sit down and relax. Give yourself time for your experiment with truth. Experiment with truth. A course in ten parts, inspired by the techniques of Our Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. I bow to all the seekers of truth. In today's program of Experiment with Truth, we'll prepare ourselves for the actual experience and concentrate on that primordial power which lives in every cell of every living thing, the Kundalini. All you have to do is watch, listen, and feel. All the pictures, the music, the sounds of nature are so chosen to help guide you and to give you a feeling of peace. While you watch carefully, listen, and feel. Desire to be one with the truth. Before we come to the experimental part of the program, we will repeat the introduction. Now how can you experiment with truth? Truth is what it is. It cannot be changed and it cannot be conceptualized. But truth can be felt. Your own body is the instrument of truth. In every human being, energy centers are to be found on the autonomic nervous system. These centers are connected to every cell in the body through the nerves and are called chakras. The centers are a direct instrument of the truth. They reflect the destructive as well as the constructive behavior of man towards his environment and towards himself. One, stress, anger, greed, egotism, and so forth. I read the nerves in the body and overload the energy centers of your autonomic nervous system. With the help of the nervous system, one can discover the reasons for a positive or negative attitude to life and the reasons why sicknesses occur. How does that work? In the sacrum bone, just below the base of the spine, resides a power. This power is known as a female or motherly primordial power. And since ancient times, it is known as Kundalini. The limbic area on top of the head integrates all the systems in the body and is therefore the principal control center for the body. Your experiment with truth starts when your Kundalini rises up through the spinal column to enlighten this limbic area. When this happens, a new dimension of perception is achieved through which you learn to understand the energy flow from your body to your hands. All the nerve centers and consequently all the organs reflect their condition in the hands and on each fingertip. Through this subtle system of perception, that is the system which registers the truth about everything, you are able to discern your own mastership and what should be your right conduct towards God, mankind and nature. Whatever you will now feel is information about the true conditions of your energy centers. And that is your experiment with truth. You can feel it in your hands, above your head, in your body, and in your heart. The awakening of Kundalini and man is the blossoming of the seeds which all the great incarnations have sown. Lord Krishna, Lord Rama, Lord Jesus, Lord Muhammad, Lord Confucius, Lord Lao Tse, Lord Buddha, Lord Jnanadeva, Guru Nanak, and others. Kundalini is the power which enlightens mankind. And through this, a new step in evolution is achieved. Her Holiness Srimataji Nirmala Devi 
has developed a simple method by which Kundalini, through her love, can be spontaneously, gently, and effortlessly awakened. Shumataji's desire is to give whosoever wishes it their enlightenment through this motherly primordial power. The easiest way to raise this majestic mother within you is to just put your right hand on top of your head as Shimataji is doing and ask, Mother, please give me enlightenment. Shimataji calls this process Sahaja Yoga, the spontaneous connection of our attention with the all-pervading power of love. In all living cells there exists an energy which controls their growth and development as well as their communication with the complete system. This energy is in a spiral form and growth also takes place in a spiral form. In all human beings and animals this energy exists in an uncoiled form and the task of this energy is the same as that in all the cells. But above all it establishes the connection and communication with the all-pervading power of the cosmos. Now do your own experiment. Lay your hands out open on your lap with the palms facing upwards. While the description is being read, watch the reaction on your autonomic nervous system. When your kundalini moves, then you can feel a cool breeze on the palms of your hands, on your face, and above your head. Alternatively, you may feel the sensation directly in the body. The breeze may be sometimes warm, and you may feel tingling in certain fingers. This primordial power within you is of absolute importance to your experiment with truth. It is the power of enlightenment. The primordial power, or primordial mother, was revealed to all races at different times. The saint Jnanadeva and other seers of India call her Kundalini. In the ancient scriptures of the Vedas and the Upanishads, the writings of Markandeya and Pukaram, Kundalini is described as being the most subtle the most holy and the most mighty power of the universe. The Greeks knew that she resided in the sacrum bone at the base of the spine. Muslims invoked her as Ruach, the divine breath of life. In the Quran it is written, We believe in Allah and all that he passed down to us, and what he passed down to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, and Jacob, and the tribes and what was given to Moses and Jesus, and what was given to the prophets from the Lord. We make no difference between any of them, and truly, we are Muslims. And gave Jesus, the son of Mary, the clear signs, and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. Lord Buddha said that when Matreya, the threefold mother, incarnates on earth, Human beings will achieve self-knowledge. The Maoris on the Polynesian islands talk about mana the experience of holy power that penetrates existence. The Red Indian tribes of North America refer to her as Tabu'at. It means mother and child and expresses the desire for second birth.
the Atada Veda. Whosoever is driven by the breath of life, he will be reborn. Kani, the Japanese goddess of compassion, shows a female figure on top of her head, representing the primordial power. Listen to how one of the ten great primordial masters describes this female power of the universe. Lao Tse. A being there is, inconceivable and complete. It existed before heaven and earth, so silent, so formless, alone it persists. It is unchanging, all-pervading it is, without danger. One can call it the mother of the universe. I know not its name. I call it Tao. We will, in this program, call this primordial power Kundalini. Translated, this means born with you. And she waits for her awakening in the sacrum bone, where she rests in three and a half coils. When the residing Kundalini within you flows through all your energy centers and enlightens the limbic area, then she releases a stream of joy which overflows into all the channels of the body. You are then in a state of blissful happiness in which your whole body becomes one in perfect harmony. In this state, you are filled with a great love and are one with the universal ocean of consciousness. Rohit Mehta, founder of the Socialist Party of India and secretary of the International Theosophical Society, writes in his book, The Science of Meditation, we have seen that the brain is working at present at a low potential of 10 to 12 percent. It must be supplied with a great amount of fresh energy. It is with this energy that new centers of learning can be brought into existence in unusual areas of the brain. Without establishing such new reverberating centers in a revitalized brain, man cannot survive biologically or psychologically in this new phase of evolutionary growth. He continues to say, Faced with this situation, awakening of Kundalini seems to be the only answer. Dr. Umesh C. Rai, visiting professor at the Institutes of Brain and Heart Research in Oxford, London and New Delhi, proves in his book, Medical Science Enlightened, that Kundalini awakening, as practiced by Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi, has these new revitalizing effects, not only for the brain and the body, but also for the whole environment. The state of self-realization which begins through Kundalini awakening was described by the great Guru Nanak as Sahaja Samadhi. Sri Mataji calls it Sahaja Yoga. Wolfgang Bernhard, author of the book Jnanadeva, describes how this great saint experienced self-realization or enlightenment. Jnanadeva describes for the first time the inner primordial mother, Kundalini. 
This pure force of Kundalini frees all parts of the body from disease. Joint by joint, she enlightens the various regions of the body. Externally, the body appears as clean and pure as the body of a child. But the power of that force within is beyond description. Once every cell has been enlightened, the Kundalini again permeates the whole being and fills it with divine power. At the same time, she absorbs all the forces of the body into herself, and only she, the primordial force of life, remains. Youth and age cease to exist, and a pure state, existing beyond time, is born in their place. This divine breath is the reflection of the primordial Kundalini, the Immaculate Goddess. She is truly the mother of the whole universe, the ultimate majesty of the soul. Do you feel a cool breeze over your heart? Check whether you feel a cool breeze over your head. Experiment with truth gives you the possibility to know the truth about everything. You are in reality. When you feel the cool. Now, if you feel cool on both hands, this shows that your system is in balance. But maybe you have felt a difference between your two hands. So, what does this mean? If your left hand is tingling more than the right, you tend to be more easily dominated. You may often feel guilty, lethargic and not satisfied. And generally, there's a self-destructive attitude. This keeps your attention more in the past and does not allow you to feel joy of life. Do your own experiment with truth and see how your inner system becomes balanced effortlessly. If you feel cool in the right hand, point this hand towards the floor and leave your left hand open out on your lap. The fire element balances your left side. Watch the flame and allow it to work upon you. The flames know no future and they know no past. They are here and they are now. When you feel yourself one with the flames, you too are here and you are now. Tell your own spiritual mother, the Kundalini. Mother, I give up all my desires and peace will flow into your body. When, when this Kundalini dies, she, she solves, solves our problem, problem which are physical, physical mental, mental, emotional, emotional and, and also spiritual. By, by giving, giving you a higher, higher personality. personality. All, All her power is of love. love. Nothing, Nothing but love. There, there should be introspection. What, what do I want in this time? I, I should, should be able, able to love, love many more people without any less talk in your expectations. Then the, the floods of abstract love, love. Can you feel cool on the left hand? 
If your right hand is more tingling than the left, then it shows a tendency to dominate others, to be overactive, over-responsible, and can lead to heart troubles, for example. Or you may worry too much about the future and have difficulty finding peace within yourself. Then if your left hand is cool and your right hand is not, please raise your left hand towards the sky and let the right hand rest on your lap. Now say to your inner all-knowing mother Kundalini, Mother, I am not this body, I am not this mind, I am not these emotions. Kundalini, please lead my pure attention towards the self. Your, your stress, your, your worries, all disappear. disappear. Because spirit is the source of peace. Once you are connected to this divine power, then you all become part and parcel of the whole. You are not only guided but also very much protected and blessed. Especially it gives you joy. Now, can you also feel the cool breeze on the right hand? Feel also above your head and see if there is a cool breeze there. If there is, then your inner system is balanced and you are in truth. Lao Tse. The Master's power is like this. He lets all things come and go effortlessly, without desire. He never expects results. Thus, he is never disappointed. He is never disappointed. Thus, his spirit never grows old. Next program, we will have the experience of Kundalini awakening with Her Holiness Shrimataji Nirmala Devi. Through this, you will have the possibility to balance these two problematic areas of left and right and have the experience of peace and joy. So we must understand that if we want to know the truth, we have to go a little higher than human awareness. So you have to have the enlightenment, the second birth. The most important thing is to get the experience of self-realization. So the first thing is to get connected to this all-pervading power. This is extremely simple, which you cannot achieve by reading, by studying or by doing anything. Above all, you enter into the kingdom of God, which is the ocean of joy. Next time, we will have the experience of Kundalini awakening with Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi, who with her method of love has given more than five million people that Kundalini awakening. <laughs>